Hey, what's up everyone? Sam Carlson from SpawnRoom.com with another eSports Bulletin, episode 25, for July 16th, 2012. The eSports Bulletin is a mostly daily recap of all the news since the last episode, offering the fastest way to catch up with eSports, along with building an archive of eSports history. Starting us off, we got event news. ESWC, or the Electronic Sports World Cup, has announced details for the 2012 season, with qualifiers running July through October. The Grand Finals will take place November 1st through the 4th. Uh, the official list of games is StarCraft 2, Dota 2, Shootmania Storm, Trekmania, FIFA 13, and Tekken Tag Tournament 2. But they will also be running side tournaments for Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Trekmania Canyon, and League of Legends. Along with, uh, I think there was a Tekken Tag Tournament 2, like, team tournament or something. Uh, team Dignitas will be hosting a European League of Legends tournament for July, 20 for July 22nd with 32 slots open for interested players. Uh, Optic Gaming will be flying their American Mo Modern Warfare 3 team to the EGL 7 tournament in Europe happening August 4th through the 5th. Um, apparently the prize pool was good enough to uh, drag them all the way over there. And don't forget that the NASL and WCS Canada wrapped up this past weekend, so definitely want to go check those results out. They are pretty interesting. In player and team news, StarCraft 2 player John Baby Knight Anderson has signed with FX Open Europe, leaving absolute legends behind. Uh, this is shortly after that, both Nama and Death Angel announced that they had left as well, which means Absolute Legends doesn't have a StarCraft 2 roster anymore. I don't think they have any players left, so. And this all happened in a very short period of time, so interesting. In Counter-Strike Source, Nikolai Device Reitz of Copenhagen Wolves was replaced by Stefan 3K2 Markusen after some team-related issues. In Call of Duty 4, Team PMP has replaced two, Massimo Mudaj Agrisano and Roberto Skins Albano. Have, uh, they've been dropped for Marcus Sukrumzi Gustavsen and Johan Johans Hedlund. Uh, Team Acer StarCraft 2 Division announced that Christoph Mondragon Semke has not renewed his contract due to educational reasons. Team Dynamic has picked up James Atlanta Moreland after he recently left MTWNA, which was mentioned in episode 19, and he has replaced former player Joshua Nintendude X Atkins. I don't, and apparently it wasn't a mutual parting, so. Yesterday I mentioned that Team Legion had acquired some new players. Um, well, they're going to keep the ball rolling and have picked up the picked up Korean player Shuttle, who previously played for New Star Hoseo. And in miscellaneous news, according to sc2earnings.com, total StarCraft II earnings to date has broken $5 million. Uh, you can view the breakdown of race earnings and more at esfiworld.com. They had a nice write-up there. Complexity has announced that the Gamma Gamer House is now open for business. Uh, looks like six players will be moving in immediately. Um, they've done some interviews already, and they have a 24-7 live stream of right now three different places in the house, but they're adding a fourth, like a fourth camera or something. And finally, and BenQ has announced that they will renew their sponsorship contract with ESL for the Intel Extreme Masters 2012-2013 season. That wraps it up for today. Thanks for watching the Esports Bulletin as always, and see you next time.